All right, hello everyone. Here we are and setting up for hole number eight. The things that I use for this is a quasar ball. I use a QB, I, I, I believe it's a seven or an eight. And I use a sniper approach. So those are the three clubs that you'll need to uh, set up in your bag, if at all possible. If you don't have a sniper, that's okay too. You know, you can use a, um, a Viper just as easily. Uh, it, it just changes your ring adjustment. Once we get out of here into the fairway, I'll kind of explain that to you, just so you can see kind of the differences. Let me just go ahead and make sure that I'm okay distance-wise. I'll play, you know, for this hole usually at about 25%, maybe for elevation downhill here. So I want to make sure that, you know, I'm not going full overpower and I'm taking off because it looks like you know, full down over power is going to push it into the rough. But here you can see that I'm just kind of bending it, curling it around the edge, and getting it down here as far as possible. So, what I was mentioning about the sniper shot, you know, let's just say hypothetically, you know, I have a, and what I like to use is a little bit of elevation here, minus 5% maybe for my adjustment. So for my sniper shot here, you can see my max club is going to be 3.3 uh, for a 3.5 wind. If if you needed to use a Viper, for instance, it would only be 1.7 rings. Whatever my sniper rings are, you would just kind of half for your Viper shot. It's going to... Um, but if you actually, you know, want to see those charts for yourself, you know, they're available on the Golf Clash Notebook website. Um, similarly, if you wanted to purchase this app, you know, it is in the uh, Android store. And it's also called Golf Clash Notebook and will really help, you know, kind of speed up the way that you process some of the information. Um, but, you know, uh, obviously, you know, you'd be able to get away with it manually as well, just by printing off the sheets or whatnot. But here you can see we're kind of pretty close to mid-club here for this adjustment, 2.9 miles per hour. I'm just going to kind of put this slider towards mid-club mid a bit. And aside from that, you'll just see that I'll probably use pretty close to 4 backspin is usually what I've been trying to... To, to go with here and you can see what, what I'm doing with the ball guide and 2.4 rings is going to be the adjustment that I'm going to shoot for here which is going to be right around here <clears throat> perfect ball <clears throat> and here it shoots up and catches the hole so you'll see that you'll easily be able to, you know, get yourself a very good approach into that green. Um, and of course, you know, as I was mentioning, the, um, you know, the, the reason that you'd want to bring Sniper is for that extended ball guide. So even if you only have it unlocked, you know, it's probably better than a Viper. Even if your Sniper was at, say, you know, a Sniper 4 or something. Um, if you can use it, I highly recommend it. If you can't, Viper is okay too. You know, the only thing I wouldn't have been able to see is quite as much rollout on my ball guide. So you just have to kind of position, you know, where you set up on the green very similarly, but you might not get that run out. It wouldn't show you all that, uh, you know, that ball guide. So, um, you know, good luck with that eighth hole uh, and uh, be on the lookout for hole nine coming up. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to get that eagle there and uh, let me know how that goes. Good luck, guys.